good morning guys so i'm back in an airport and bash and i we are on our way to ibiza so again it was another early flight we were up at 5 a.m this morning so i'm feeling very tired and i'm not looking my best but it's okay no judgments on on here guys so we're off to ibiza for a holiday me and bash we're going for two days alone just to have like a little romantic vacation and then we're going to meet a bunch of friends from day two onwards so no from day three onwards so in total we'll be away for about two weeks but i will only be vlogging the first few days because again i'm gonna try and do a no phones and no camera holiday but we'll see how far i get with that i just want to like listen to podcasts read and be super super present with all of my friends but i'm excited to show you what we get up to within the next few days i've been especially excited for this holiday because it's the first time that i can bring out my new raffia bag and it's a proud one how nice is that? It feels so special to me that I refuse to put it in a suitcase and I'm having it as my carry-on luggage because I just, I don't want to lose it. I can lose anything in that big suitcase, but just not this Prada tote bag. How nice is it? So I went and got some fruits and a tea. And I just saw the most wildest thing. A woman got a fry up and then she went and put strawberry jam on top. Like, that's completely normal. But you know what, everyone has weird food things. Like, I like ketchup and pasta. And baked beans on pasta. I used to love that. Okay, the last time I did, I did do that was probably like 12 years ago. So it's been a long time since I've had something like that. But we all have it. We all have a weird food thing. So, I haven't got the cutest airport outfit on, but I do match my suitcases, so at least I did something. And we made it, we're here, we're in Ibiza. So these are the amount of cases that we have for a two week holiday. We have our two extra large Ramoas, a large one. And then a really small baby travel size plus our tote bags. So we're not traveling very light. I'm just waiting for Bash to find the rental car. I know it feels like we were just here but for me, I feel like we haven't been here in ages because when we got back to London, we were straight back into work non-stop. So I just feel like we are on a much deserved holiday. And then Fashion Week starts in September and it's back to school. Here he is. Hello. All right, let's load up this car and get our asses to the beach. So our room isn't ready yet, so I'm still in my airport outfit but we just stopped off at one of our favorite easy quick lunch brunch spots called passion and we're just gonna get some food i'm so happy to be here i got an iced latte and bash got like a collagen smoothie and then my favorite acai bowl so we finally got to check into our room and it's so nice. It's a little bit dark because we haven't opened any curtains. Bashi, would you mind opening the curtains for me? Love you. <laughs> so as you walk in, you see the bathroom straight away. So there's a bath and then the sink. And I kind of like this open plan idea. It's quite cool. And then here's wardrobe. Guys, I love a room tour. Seating area. Thank you, Bash. Let's come. Oh, little statue. So seating area, Bashir. The bed. And then let's go and have a look inside the toilet. <laughs> or maybe there's another bathroom. Still in my airport tire. 
Okay, so that's just a toilet, nothing special. And that is the room tour of the W Hotel. Oh, let me show you guys the terrace because that's a really amazing feature. Oh, what's in here? Ah, oh, that's the shower. That's nice because I was thinking, am I gonna have to have a bath every day? Okay, let's go out to the terrace. Look how big the terrace is. This is insane. Oh my God, I haven't been out here yet. I only saw a glimpse of it. This little seating area. Oh my God, this is so nice. Sofa, deck chairs, and then you get a view of the main pool area from the room. Woohoo! The room is just even nicer than I thought because the room that we had last time when we stayed here was really cute and it was half the size. So I just I just assumed we'd be staying in like a room super similar or the same room. But the fact that they upgraded us is so nice. So I'm feeling very, very grateful. I am now dressed for the beach. So there's a little beach attached to the hotel. So we're just gonna go and get a sunbed because we don't wanna have to drive anywhere or go too far, so. We're just staying local today as we just landed. You know that feeling when you've just landed and you're feeling a bit groggy, you haven't got so much energy. So that's how we're feeling right now. So we're just gonna be taking it very, very chill. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing to the beach. I'm wearing my, I can't pronounce the name. I'm gonna write the name at the bottom, but it's like meow, my meyo swimwear and the jeans are the good old reformation jeans you guys have seen hundreds of times. I've rolled one side up, haven't rolled the other, but you know. My brand new Prada tote bag, which I love. My favorite Dior sunglasses. And that is my very simple beach look. Are you What's ready? on the feet though? We're grounding today, there are no shoes. No, I've got no, my Birkenstocks in the suitcase, so... No, that's facts. I need to go and get them. The beach was a dream, guys. I'm... Do you know how refreshing it is, like, when you haven't touched the ground in so long with your feet? We live in a flat, we're so high up in London, so, and we don't have a garden that we can just step out into. So I really miss just being able to touch the floor. It sounds so crazy, but it's called earthing. And just having my feet in the sand makes me feel so grounded. And it's just so nice and refreshing. I feel so much more energized because of it. But if you guys, um, haven't heard of grounding or earthing you should definitely look into it and there's quite a few documentaries about it as well it's very interesting okay now i just refreshed i look like i've been crying but i haven't i had a shower and all the shower gel just went in my eyes and then it was a whole thing but i can see now let me show you what i'm wearing because we're going to the hippie market and I haven't been to the hippie market in Ibiza before, so I'm very excited. But I'm not really dressed like a hippie for the hippie market, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna wear. So I have my Dior sunglasses. And how cute is this realization dress? And then my Bertha stocks. I'm really tied in with the Spanish theme in this outfit, and I like it. Okay. Um, time to check out the hippie market. I really want to get some like loose fitted flowing clothing. So that is my goal for today's shopping spree. Early evening. 
evening and we just got back from our early dinner and the hippie market but I'm not going to show you guys what I got right now because it's getting a little bit late and the light isn't great. I would say it was a fairly successful shopping trip so I'm really excited to show you what I got and for the rest of the evening because we're both so tired we're gonna just set up our portable projector and we're gonna watch The Witcher. We're gonna carry on watching The Witcher because we're finally on season two. And I'm really excited to get up to date. So we're gonna watch as much Witcher as we can. If you guys haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. It's a mystical um, series. It's like Game of Thrones vibe, but think more magic happens within The Witcher. So yeah, it's really good. Like more monsters and all that kind of vibe. So we're gonna watch that tonight. Um, but I really hope that the projector idea works, but let's go and set it up. So the setup is looking good. So we have this massive white wall where we're gonna attempt to project onto, and it's the perfect blank, blank wall, I'll show you. So here, but we just need it to get a little bit more darker otherwise the projection won't be as clear as it could be but Bash had the idea for us to bring the blinds down so it will make it darker a bit quicker so fingers crossed okay blinds are going down so this is our projector it looks a little bit like a bluetooth speaker but it is honestly so good the quality of the projection is astonishing honestly guys it's amazing movie nights are just the best night this is my ideal night in and what day is it today wednesday this is like the best wednesday night i could ever ask for if it works out i've just attached it Oops. almost straight. i just attached it to a tripod make sure it's tight so it doesn't fall off Okay guys, it is looking so good. So we moved the big wicker sofa to here. So it's gonna be so cozy, I'm so excited. And this is the projector. So we've had to link up the laptop to the projector so that we get Amazon. Is it Netflix or Amazon? Netflix, so that we get Netflix. Because this projector it has loads of apps on it, but the one app it doesn't have is Netflix. Oh my God, what has happened here? Bash, is it just broken? Such a vibe. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, we slept so well. I think we had around nine hours sleep. We were exhausted. Our heads hit the pillows and we were straight off into dreamland. But you know what? I feel like a completely different person today. I just feel so present. I feel so awake and I feel so cheery. I'm going to show you guys what I purchased at the hippie market. I did say it was quite a successful shopping trip. That was like the first thing I thought of this morning. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to show everyone on my YouTube video what I got. And I'm really happy with what I got because I set out with a goal to find some loose fitted clothes. And I think I found that. So in this little cute, how cute is this bread bag? That just makes me so happy. I love the color red. So as soon as I saw the color, I was drawn to it and this is like a sarong skirt how beautiful is that it's like a burnt orange mustard yellow toned skirt and the reason I wanted to buy this was because I find a lot of sarongs are so long because people just use like a really big scarf but this is actually cut for a mini skirt so I'm gonna try that on. So this is kind of how it looks on. I just need to tie it here. Do you know what? Last time I was here in Ibiza, I actually saw a girl on the beach wearing the exact same sarong. And I was just thinking like, how did she get 
such a perfect mini sarong skirt and it's exactly this so I thought that was really cute and I'm so happy I found this <laughs> okay and next up it's not exactly matching but this is more of like an oversized airy shirt again I was drawn to the colors but this is more of a pale yellow than a mustard yellow so it doesn't match exactly but I just thought it was really nice and airy and would be a perfect throw on piece this holiday and you know what I was like I'm in the hippie market I need to really embrace this so I am feeling like a bit of a hippie myself how cute I love this okay I'll show you how it looks in full this is how the shirt looks and I could tuck it into the skirt so it looks a little bit like a dress but like I said, the colours don't match exactly. I just think there's a lot going on. If I were to wear the two together, so I don't think I would, I'd definitely wear them separately. But again, how cute. I don't think I can wear this right now. It is far too hot. Okay. This is a bit of a random one. It's not very exciting, but things like this excite me. Sponges. So, these are just natural sponges and I will use these for cleaning myself because I really feel like when I don't clean with a sponge I don't get that thorough wash and I don't feel as fresh as I usually would so new sponges they make me very happy guys I'm so sorry I just realized that I still had my retainer in and it had some smoothie in the retainer that is disgusting and I could see it at the front of my teeth so I am so sorry I didn't want to carry on with that vibe so I took my retainers out okay in this bag we have an unlimited amount of incense me and Bash we love incense and when we, whenever we are away from home we always travel with incense however this time we forgot so we wanted to stock up on incense this is my favorite incense I love the smell of this one um, I can always tell that this is burning this particular scent whenever people are burning incense in their house and then I love the packaging of this because it reminded me of that shirt and skirt I just bought and then I'm excited to try this French lavender because I love the smell of lavender and then there is these two incense as well so this one combines around 100 medicinal and aromic plants from the Himalayas it can be offered to green Tara the deity of wealth compassion and wish fulfillment it will also purify refresh and soothe your environment and yourself and remove obstacles and danger and fulfill your wishes so when you burn that, all those dreams will come true. And this one is a gift for someone. And this incense stick combines around 100 medicinal aromic plants from the Himalayas. Again, it's specifically offered to Karukul. I don't know what Karukul means. I'm gonna have to research that. Who protects all living beings from dangers, fears, and will help bring us good luck, peace, happiness, prosperity, and harmony. I believe that's a god. Cool. I'm gonna research that and then we got this salt it is Sal di Ibiza and it is from the salt flats here in Ibiza and it is such good salt and I love salt I honestly I cover everything in salt even if it doesn't need it I'm still adding salt okay in this bag I will show you what we have okay so in here again it's a gift for a friend and it is a sound bowl so it looks like that um sound bowls are so relaxing to play and they put you in a really meditative state so if any of you are interested in meditation sound healing look into tibetan sound bowls they are 
really cool and then we got some um, holders for them one for the gift and then one for us but I think I'm drawn to this one I'm really drawn to mustard yellows and burnt oranges so I'm gonna keep that one and then give that along with the gift so you put the bowl on top of that and then you can play it and then you can put this on the table and then you can play the sound bowl on the table and the reason people use this, these are to lift the objects because everything in like the buddhist practices everything is lifted your energy is lifted your spirit is lifted so lift 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 and I believe that is everything I got from the hippie market. That was a really fun haul to fill. I love that. I love everything we got. I just want to use it all now. Maybe one day I'll be a hippie. But not yet. I'm not ready to be a hippie right now. Okay, so we're just going to head down to the pool because we're feeling lazy this morning and we don't want to go too far. So we're just going to chill and drink lots of sparkling water and then go to lunch but i think we're going to come back up here before we go to lunch so i can get changed but for now i'm wearing the same bikini as yesterday and then the skirt that i got from the hippie market and then my birkenstocks and all i'm going to bring down are my headphones so i can listen to a podcast and my phone and of course my vlogging camera it is incredibly hot here in Europe, so we came up from the pool because I overheated and I wanted some water. I could have got water by the pool, but they only serve this canned water. And I don't know, I have a thing about this canned water. It tastes really weird to me. And up here we have loads of bottles of water, so I wanted to get some bottles of water. And it happened to be one o'clock, so we're actually going to go to lunch. And this is what I'm wearing to lunch. I just put um, a vest on because I'm not sure of the vibe in the restaurant, whether they would allow, allow a bikini top. So I'm wearing a vest just in case. The overskirt that I got, I am enjoying it so much. It's so cute. The good old Prada tote bag that will be with me every day, everywhere I go. The Birkenstocks and I stole Bash's Bottega sunglasses, which are new at the house she colour. And then my Yiso oversized earrings. And that's me. I beef the lunch ready. Let's go. Maybe we've ordered a lot of food so we have a whole table for the food. sea bass I've ever had but it hit the spot and I covered the sea bass in lemon juice and olive oil I think it just tastes so much better that way tonight though we have a very exciting meal we're going to one of our favorite spots it's a place called Casamaca and Sarah's trying her first steak I'm a chicketarian so the only meat I eat is chicken and you know what, okay, occasionally I will eat bacon if I'm in Norway because the bacon in Norway slaps. But yeah, Sarah has never had a steak in her life. So we've researched that there's like been a lot of health benefits from steak and red meat. So I wanna try it. I wanna try and get into it. And maybe it will give me more energy because of the amount of iron in steak. I always feel tired. I'm always feeling like I have no energy. So maybe this is the one thing I'm missing in my diet. But I'm very excited to try steak. 
after lunch we just sat by the pool and can you tell I have caught a very subtle tan do you know what I'm actually so happy with this because I don't feel too tanned it's like a really nice color but as I will be in Ibiza for another two weeks I think I'm gonna get pretty dark but I ain't complaining I'll be looking nice and tan for fashion month once I'm back literally after this holiday we'll be back in London for about four three or four days and then we're straight off for fashion month and we'll be going to loads and loads of shows and presentations seeing clients so it's nice being refreshed for all of that hard work I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing for my first steak guys this is like a moment in history for me right so I just brushed my hair and I put some product in it so it's just kind of like a bit flat but I no, I didn't wash it, I wet my hair and then I just left some conditioner in it so it's not like the ultimate curl right now, it's a little bit flat but it's fine again, my Yisu earrings which I'm absolutely obsessed with I wear them with everything I don't know, if you guys watched some of my previous videos you saw that I purchased this top from Mango guys, I'm so sad my vlogging camera died again this is like the second time it's happened today. I don't know why. Just keep saying battery exhausted. Maybe it's had too much sun and the battery is exhausted. No, I'm joking. Anyway, as I was saying, I didn't think I'd find an outfit to wear with it and I was gonna return it, but I decided, you know what, keep it. You have a holiday coming up, so it will come in useful and today is the day where it's coming useful. So I have styled this kind of um, waistcoat with my new Versace belt. I have been waiting so long for this to arrive. It came and then it was too small and then I exchanged the size and it came the day before my holiday. So I'm so, 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 so relieved. And I just think it looks so nice with denim shorts because it gives that 90s vibe, which I'm always going for. And here is a better look of the outfit. I've decided to go for my mini Dior saddlebag, which is a classic. And then the shoes, the shoes are really cute. Honestly, for me, this feels like the perfect holiday evening outfit. I feel comfortable and I feel very stylish. Okay, let's mark a moment in history where Sarah tries her first steak. So I'm a little bit nervous about having my first steak because I'm a bit scared in case I don't like it. Because the restaurant we're going to is very nice here in Ibiza. So I just don't want to not like it and then feel like it's a waste of a dish. But Bash said that he would eat it if I didn't like it. But then that means I have to order something else and I'll probably be waiting even longer to eat something. And I'm really, really, really hungry. But positive thinking, Sarah, don't be nervous because you will like it. I really hope I like it. If I like steak, that means I have so many more options to order from on restaurant menus because whenever we eat out, I feel quite limited since chicken is the only meat I eat. And there's always like burgers, steaks on the menus, beef tartare, but I don't think beef tartare is gonna be my kind of vibe. I'm gonna start off with steak, see how that goes, and then take everything step by step. Because I'll try something like a beef tartare. And if I like steak, that means I'll like hamburgers beef burgers whatever you guys call it see I am just have no knowledge on these types of foods but no I'm nervous but excited <laughs> Or not, so I'm gonna add the salt. 
Okay, let's give this a go. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I did it. Good morning, guys. I am officially a changed woman this morning because I tried steak for the first time. My honest opinion about having steak, I didn't love it. I ate maybe three or four bites, but I think it just wasn't the right steak. Um, it was, number one, it was grilled and it wasn't fried in a pan with like butter and not necessarily spices, but like salt and it just didn't have much to it. It felt very, very bland. We asked for it um, medium well. Is that right, Bash, medium well? And uh, I just don't think that the restaurant did a very good job of cooking it because there was quite a lot of blood on my plate. And as soon as I bit into like a bloody piece, it really turned me off. And then I lifted the steak and there was like a small pool of blood and it just wasn't for me. It freaked me out a little bit. So I gave the rest to Bash and he basically finished it off for me. But I am willing to give it another try in London. Bash tried it for the first time the other week and he tried it at a place called Cut, which is known as like London's best place for steak. And he enjoyed it and he said it was much, much better at Cut than it was at Casamaca where we were last night. So I will give it another go, but for the way it was cooked yesterday, I was like, this is not a vibe. I just, I really didn't enjoy it. But the sides were good, so I did eat. And the truffle mashed potato with cheese on top was, was so worth the meal. I should have ordered something else, but I just, I didn't want to order more and wait longer. I knew that would happen. I just knew it. Anyway. I have tried it now, and at least I can say in this life I have tried steak. Um, I'd quite like to try a cheeseburger as well one day, maybe that can be in another vlog. We are attempting to go for a little hike slash walk. I don't really know what to expect because I haven't gone this way before, so. But so far, so good, and it's beautiful, look. I feel like these are the kind of places where I'm going to see a snake. Oh, I'm terrified. Terrified to see a snake. No, I'm sure it will be fine. And this is what I'm wearing on today's hike. The same bikini I've worn every day. Aloe yoga shorts. And guys, please don't, please don't judge me for this. Toe shoes. They are so comfortable. And basically, because we wear tight shoes, on a day-to-day -day basis, our feet get used to being like this. So these shoes like spread your toes. I know it sounds really weird and cringy, but I promise you they're the most comfortable shoes and they're so the sole is so flat that it feels like you're just walking on the ground with no shoes. So it's, it's quite a relief for my feet, dare I say it. So if you guys are ever in the lookout, on the lookout for comfortable freeing shoes, definitely look into toe shoes. This is not an ad for toe shoes. I wish it was. Look how nice these red rocks are. I think they're so beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Do you know what? I'm lucky I came prepared because I have my bikini with me and I really fancy jumping in the water because it's so humid and it would just be so refreshing. I'm desperate to get in the water, I'm sweating, but it's been a good hike and it hasn't ended yet, not yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over there somewhere. To swim? Yeah. Let's go. The temperature is so nice. Yeah. Oh my god. And it's so cool. We 
are back from our walk. We ended up walking for about two hours and I'm exhausted, but I feel so good for it. I'm very, very glad that we did that. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna sign off on this vlog. I really appreciate you guys for watching and thank you those to all who comment and I do reply to my comments and I love seeing all the same people write the most amazing comments and then when a new person comments that also excites me so yeah let's keep it up and lots of love bye